And welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today, Friday, the 3rd of March. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to take you around what's happening in markets today. So, overnight, we had a positive session in the US. We saw markets recover from early losses after one of the Fed members suggested that a 0.25% rate hike would be supported. It seems that every time one of the Fed members speaks, it moves markets one way or the other. Usually it's the other way. But markets actually like the idea of a quarter percent rise rather than the standard half a percent. That seems to be the narrative for next time the Fed meet. US futures are mildly lower in Asian trading and Asian indices are following that US lead and generally higher. The ASX is up around 0.4 percent, material slightly outperforming and nine sectors out of the 11 in the green European equity futures are also pointing to a positive open. The VIX is still trading around that key 20 level. The US dollar index gained last night slightly to trade in the short term range, just above 200 EMA. It is slightly lower in Asia today against most currencies. Gold moved back up, interestingly, towards 1840. Copper did drop yesterday, but remains middle of the range between 408 and 420. And oil is near 85, but continues to be in the range. If it reaches 85, that suggests a potential change in sentiment. So keep an eye on that. Bitcoin is trading neutral, as it has for most of the week, around that 200 EMA. And earnings season obviously continues on the ASX. Today on the data front, we've got global services PMI coming out across the board from Asia, Europe and the US. We've also got Eurozone PPI. What may move markets is we've got the Fed policy report and member speeches. There's three of the Fed members speaking tonight. They all have the potential to move markets, of course, as we've seen recently. So I would suggest that today, possibly medium to high risk in terms of markets moving away from where they are right now. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Um, the GB pound yen is an interesting chart on the daily. We can see that it's sort of got stuck at this potential resistance at 164.50 can see how this was support back in November here and here and resistance here back in September so we've had a go at this uh, and then drop back below it again it looks as though we've retraced a little bit that may be enough for right now and so if we put another line around about the close from yesterday and look at a short term chart you can see the potential for a bounce off this level let's just move it down a little bit uh, and a potential move back up to test that 164.50 the higher probability trade would probably be if it started to tackle 164, so around about 45 to 50 pips in here. Again, if we breach 164.50, there could be a sharp move to the upside, and that's worth keeping an eye on as the day progresses, particularly when any UK data comes out later. On the ASX, one of the charts we've been keeping an eye on all week is Technology One Limited, and you can see there, once again, we've moved back up to test this 1490 level which appears to be a very stubborn resistance. It's had a little breach of that this morning, but just dropped back down again a little bit. Just watch this. I think this is a stock in a popular space and could have plenty of upside if we breach that key level that we can see on the chart. One to look at possibly in the last hour of the day to see where it's sitting. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.